Purple Smoky Eyeshadow with MAC Makeup. Okay, so we're doing a purple smoky eye today, and we're going to start with the primer. First color we're going to apply for our smoky eye is Naked Lunch, and it's going to go only on the lid right where the eyeball is. Now this isn't going to be as dramatic as you would think a traditional smoky eye is and that's because a lot of times in bridal parties with brides and bridesmaids they say smoky eye and if you give them a traditional smoky eye it's going to be much, much more dramatic than what they really want. Okay, the next color we're going to do is blackberry and we're going to put it in the upper crease and in the corner. The outer corner here is where we're going to start and bring down and in because that's where you're going to have the most pigment on your brush so if you were to just slap it up there exactly where you want it you might get a line it'll be harder to uh, blend it in you want to bring it up and inward making sure to not create any harsh lines. All right, the next color we're gonna go with is called Embark, which is a slightly purple looking brown. Again, we're gonna start in the corner. We're gonna kinda go with the same pattern that we just did with the blackberry color, but smaller. So it'll just be on the inside of what we just did with the blackberry. And we're going to take it up probably halfway into what we did with the blackberry and halfway out. Now to give it that smoky eye quality with a little bit of drama, we're going to take a black and put it right in the bottom corner. We don't want to go too far into the crease with this black color because that will make it more dramatic, which is fine when you get done with the purple smoky eye if they would like to make it more dramatic. You can continue with more black and thicker liner. But this way, you can always make those changes rather than starting off with it too dark and having to try to remove. It's always easier to add than take off. Now we're going to go with our accent purple color, Nocturnal. lightly tap it in right on the inside of where we just did that black. We don't want to go all the way into the middle of the eye because this bulb right here should always be a highlight. Unless you're doing like black or a solid color all the way The reason why I'm only really tapping it in is because I want to keep the most amount of pigment in that spot. And then we can bring it in a little bit almost into the tear duct area of the eye to really give it that purple look. For the highlight, I'm going to use White Frost. I'm going to start right underneath the brow and bring it down because again we don't want all of the pigment to be put right on top of the blackberry color. For more videos, visit steviesharestyles.com.